We show here the water gilding technique. Using a brush, the gilder is laying 22 carats gold leaf upon the red bowl. This technique, also called gauche gilding, appeared for the first time in the Middle Ages, specifically on the gilded surface of the paintings on panels. Since then, it has been used for tabernacle frames and Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo and empire frames later on. The gilder, wetting the bowl with the brush, reactivates the rabbit glue of the bowl. The wet surface is then ready to receive the gold leaf, which will stick to the frame. A day after, when the bowl is already dry, the gauche gilding is completed and the gilder proceeds with the polishing phase, also known as gold varnishing. We show here only the phase of laying the gold, which is the most challenging part of the technique, where you need to be focused on the pillow, the knife and the brush simultaneously without losing control. Notice how, by a complicated play of puffs, the gold leaf is extracted from the small book, cut into size and spread gently on the wet surface. Water is the key element to realize the whole process because it makes the red ball sticky. If one doesn't wet the entire surface correctly, the gold leaf won't get attached and one will lose the gold.